Welcome back to Mars Hill Kid Zone News. I'm your co-anchor, Peyton. And I'm your news anchor, Dave. And welcome this lovely Easter Sunday. It's Easter! 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 Listen, I've developed something special. But listen, you can't tell anyone. I'm going to turn this mic off, and you can't even tell anyone. You can't tell no one. Make sure it's covered up. What is it? So, I got this super power. This super ability. Super strength? No. Flying? Kind of. Super speed? Time travel. <laughs> Time travel. I, did, I, did you hear me? Hey, can you hear me over there? Time travel. Okay, good. I think we're good. But time travel. So like, so have you done this before? I have. So what I got to do is I've got to stand straight, put my hat on sideways, got to have some room. All right. And if I take my hands on the front of my head and I think, really, 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 Where did he go? This just in. Dave, time traveled. Two days later. It's been two days and Dave's still missing if you have any leads on where he might be please call this number the reward chicken nuggets for life please call the number One eternity later. Welcome back to MH Kids Zone News. I'm your news anchor, Peyton. It's been four days since Dave time traveled. I don't really know where he went, what he's doing, if he's even alive anymore. He was supposed to have the story this week, but since he's still gone, I guess I'll have to share. Hey! It. Hey! Peyton! Dave, Dave, is that you? Hey! You're back! Ah! He's back! He's back. He's back. Where oh, did, where did man. you go? What did you I've do? got such a good story to tell you. I saw. Tell, 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 tell. I saw it all. You saw what? What did you see? I've got to set the lighting. If you'll go behind the camera, I'll tell the story, and we'll set the lighting. It all started. It was black. I didn't know where I was going. I was jumping around in the air. I was moving around. And then, poof. I hear crowd noise. I hear people yelling a word that sounded familiar. It was just like I had heard it. Hosanna! Hosanna! And I see this donkey going down the street carrying a man and people cheering, yelling, waving a lease in the air. Hosanna! Hosanna! And I knew where I was. I knew what was about to happen. And it starts. And as you start to see the things and the events that we can read in the Bible, I saw them portrayed out. And I watched it all and I hid. And I hid back. I hid behind the temple. I hid behind the door. I hid behind the trees in the garden. As I watched the Last Supper. As I watched Jesus have that, that Last Supper with His disciples. And then hiding in the garden to see the betrayal 
and the arrest and then hiding in the crowd as he is put in front of everyone on trial. And as they find him guilty, and then is what we call Good Friday. And as I just stood back in the crowd and I watched as they beat Jesus, as he carried a criminal's cross, he carried it on his back with a crown in his head of thorns, blood going down. He was beat. He was tired for what now I know that that was for our sins, that that was for us because he loves us. But at the time, seeing their faces, seeing him walk up the hill to Golgotha to be hung on the cross beside criminals, he didn't do anything. He was an innocent. He lived a sinless life. He was a friend. He cared for people. He loved people. And to see them on the cross, to see them bargaining his clothes, gambling for his clothes, poking him with a spear, to see the tears running down his friend's face, to hear them shouting at him, and then, as it had got darker and darker, and the moment grew in, he bows his head and says a phrase that's translated, it's te telestai, and it's translated to it is finished. And he bows his head and he died on the cross what a sad moment in there I couldn't help but myself to cry in that moment it was upsetting and then they take him to a borrowed tomb a man named Joseph gave up his family's tomb gave it up for him and as they put him in this tomb it was guarded Man, it was guarded more than you see a bank guarded today. It had guards standing out with their swords. And as I'm hiding behind the tree, I'm just trying not to get seen as they rolled the stone over this tomb so no one can get in. And then on Sunday, I see a couple people heading towards the tomb. I see some ladies carrying some fragrances to make it all good. And guess what? As they come up, I see drop and it falls and I hear it hit the ground and I'm wondering and then my, as myself, I look over towards the tomb and I see the stone is gone. It's rolled away. There's no one in the tomb. And the ladies and Mark, Mary, they're, they're shocked. They're in awe. And they're wondering who has came, who has got him, who took his body. And an angel appeared and said, fear not. And they ask, where is he gone? Where is he at? Where is Jesus? He is rose again. And they tell him to go and to get the disciples. And they go and they tell the disciples. And then at that point, I just knew I had to come back and tell the story. So I left. I did my little trick and I left. And wow, what? A story we know that Jesus died on the cross we know he died on the cross for our sins and what a man what what who I can't even think of words to describe what love he had for us to die on the cross for the sin for our sins and rise again 
I'm really, really excited to see where in the world I can go next. So here I go. Yeah.